Hi everyone, good evening, Jai Hind. This session is important for the parents of the students who are in grade third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. I am going to talk about building logic. How can we develop logic at this young age, and how easy it is to develop logic with such simple tools which are readily available in our homes. I'll be taking a dedicated session on this uh, a few few days later, but. Uh, this is very important to understand the importance of logic in life we have to make a lot of rational decisions and it is very important to have that kind of problem solving mindset right from the early age so that we are able to help child not only clear the competitive exam which are going to come on later uh, in, in in his or her life but also in general to see the the nature of the problem solving in all aspects of life right so this is one of the posts which i did on my linkedin a uh, few Uh, weeks back uh this is such a simple tool which is available which is readily available uh this is called tambola or housey uh and this tambola game this this board this uh, 10 by 9 board teaches a lot of amazing things to students it helps us it helps students identify the patterns uh sensing the numbers improving on how to see the numbers addition subtraction sum of the digits and so on and if you of course want to go on you know it is even helpful for the students who are um, you know bigger in age uh, the ticket generation is such a amazing wonderful mathematical activity that anyone can think of right so if you talk about the sheet of tambola it has uh, six sheets containing 90 numbers how do we place the numbers in those six sheets so that every two sheet is different and this is such an amazing activity and amazing math problem to think about but this comes at a higher level i'm talking about the students who are in grades 3rd 4th 5th 6th this matrix teaches us a lot so it is uh, you know a request from my side to the parents who are in grade uh, of the students who are in grade 3rd 4th 5th 6th to give this simple board to the students because this is going to teach them a lot of things and if you are math oriented if you already know math i'm talking about the parents you can sit with the children and talk about the sum of the digits the pattern it follows the 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 multiplication or or the table of nine you will be able to see the pattern you will be able to see the pattern in sum of the digits and lot else lot more right so so this is such a beautiful activity and these kind of things are readily available in our homes we just have to identify them and uh, you know build the logic with these activities this is another problem i am discussing with some of my students who are in grade 7 6 7 8 the monty hall problem so these are such beautiful such obvious problems there are a lot of game shows like uh, you know uh, kon banega karodpati so again uh, i i give this problem to uh, my students who are in 6 7 8 just just have started how to think so there are two lifelines one is 50 50 the other is double dip so double dip the computer removes uh, uh, in 50 50 the computer removes two of the wrong options and the contestant is left with two options one of which is right the other is wrong and double dip the contestant is allowed to choose two of uh, the four options uh, and uh, even if one of them is correct uh, uh, the the question the answer is going to be correct so as per the rules which of these two options is better for the contestant probability wise right so so these kind of game shows monty hall kbc uh, you know there is mathematics everywhere logic everywhere we just have to identify this uh, this is another of the problems we discuss uh, uh, you know in our grades uh, in in our classes with, uh, of 7th uh, and 8th graders uh, so it's a tic tac toe game with a slight twist the twist is at each turn each player can put down either an x or a no right so it is not alternate for example if the first player chooses x the second has to choose o and x and o here any player can choose any player can do x or o right so if the first player chooses x somewhere the second player can also write x the third player can also write x and whoever you know uh, makes it three in a row or a column or a diagonal wins right so the winning rule is the same right so so this kind of thing wherein the students have to think they have to think out of the box they have to go uh, out of their comfort zone to think because this is one thing which is not there in the students right so they are given the formulas unko formulas bata diye jate hain and uh, they are given the procedures also to solve a particular problem and the only mistake that they make in the school exam is the calculation mistake because they already know the procedure on how to solve the problem because they have solved similar kind of problems before but please understand this is something which is not going to happen in life 
in life the child we have to train child to solve unsolved problems we have to make him a problem solver right so so it is very important at this age at this stage to give students these kind of problems to solve right so so the, of course the child would should rather solve this than memorizing the tables at uh, this age because memorizing tables is ultimately going to happen right so of course it is also important to get school marks i'm not saying that but this is something which is going to give him a better edge later down the line is going this is something which is going to make child a problem solver right so this is what we always say in grade 3 to 6 the brain is more flexible and logic built now lasts a lifetime right so so this is very important to start early particularly at this age grade 3 to 6 these are golden years for curiosity uh young kids learn through play and not pressure you put ample amount of pressure they're not going to do they're going to do whatever uh you know they like to do right so so if you teach them the traditional mathematics they're only going to do that only if they have interest and most of the students don't have interest in studies right so it is very important to make them sit to make them think and these kind of fun activities amazing activities that uh, we do and that you should also do uh this helps them creates curiosity this helps them uh, uh you know build a logic and uh, they they develop a passion to develop these uh, to solve these kind of problems so puzzles help them enjoy thinking instead of fearing math and this is something which is very 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 important child solving rubik cube or sudoku versus making for formulas of course uh, the child is always going to prefer solving rubiks and sudokus over uh, the, the the formulas the traditional mathematics so marks versus logic of course this is a great debate amazing debate and this is an endless debate this can go on so i'm not here to justify which is uh, uh, better marks or uh, you know logic but uh, uh, school marks we all know it's a short term memory no one is going to ask you your school marks in 5 uh, uh, years 10 years 15 years down the line they're always going to see if the child is the person in front of us is a problem solver or not and right? so this is something which is very important and if this is developed at the right age uh of course this lasts a lifetime as uh, uh stated before olympiads i mean if the child wants to get into these competitive exams uh, you know uh, and and give olympiads jee i say later down the line of course uh, the students who started early they always have had an uh, an edge over the other students so early puzzles it helps them become problem solvers for life Uh, it improves focus it improves patience because patience is something that students at this age do not have right so so if they're not able to solve a problem uh, the next time i mean the the next very instant they see the they tend to see the solutions but these kind of problems of course they make students think they want to wait uh, uh, for the further solution before they are able to try so this is very important to give them these kind of uh, uh, puzzles problems it helps create creativity develop creativity and reasoning and of course uh, last but not the least is love for mathematics right so so this is very important uh, to give i will make a dedicated session on how what are the things that uh, you can we can give to the children at this age so that they are able to develop these kind of things on the easier side but uh, the skills and goals are very important these are the skills that we uh, intend to build on uh, the children who are in grade 3rd 4th 5th 6th logical thinking step by step solving not um, i'm not talking about a math problem but any problem in life right so there's a problem how do you break that problem into different short steps this is very important this is part of the problem solving uh, fast and accurate math is one thing which every parent wants every student wants olympiad confidence working backwards so again if there is a solution which is already known how do you work backwards how do you trouble shoot right so this is something which is again uh, very important so these are very important skills uh, Uh, which we need to develop in the children and of course to develop these again uh, we have developed uh, certain courses so if you're interested you can join these so we've developed we have uh, charted the olympic journey of a child into different levels or we say the thinking level uh, thinking journey of a child into different levels level 3 to level 10 so for young students of grade 3 and 4 there is level 3 and for 5th and 6 this level 4 i'm talk, going to talk about these two levels in this uh, uh, session so of course uh, what are the end results uh, how do we see if the course uh, that uh, the child is doing is uh, doing great he is doing great in that course or not so there are certain benchmarks so there are certain good math contests that we always recommend to the children so one of them is math kangaroo the other is uh, of course nmtc which starts at 5th and 6th level and the focus is to make child a problem solver to improve the logic to improve the confidence 
uh, fundamentals and quick calculations. These are the major two focuses that uh, we, we uh, tend to develop at such early age. So if we talk about level three, level three is recommended for the students who are in grade third and fourth. And uh, right, so this is a 40 session uh, course, 40 lecture course. It is going to run three days a week, Wednesday, Thursday and Saturday, 7 to 8 p.m. Uh, of course, the testing is going to be there. In fact, not only these tests, but also there's a five minute test after every class. So, which you can, of course, attempt before attending the next class. So, after every class, we test the children with five uh, simple problems that we've discussed, the kind of problem that we've discussed, so that the child, we know that where the child is lacking. Is it the logical ability? It is the, is it the, uh, you know, calculation skills or any other thing? Uh, so that the corrective measures uh, uh, can be taken. And of course, all of these things are there. The most important part is daily puzzles and brain teasers, right? So, so what we want is the child should discuss these brain teasers, these puzzles with the family on a dinner table. It should become a dinner table talk every evening, every evening after the class, right? So this is a mandate which is given to the students and the teachers also that you have to discuss this with the family, with your parents, with your siblings, with your maybe school teacher, maybe your, your, your neighbors, whoever you can, who you find, uh, you know, have good rapport with, right? And this discussion is something that makes ultimately the child a problem solver, right? So this is very important. This is uh, being taken by Amit Modak sir. He's a very experienced teacher and I've been taking these courses for the last three years now. Uh, the start date is 5th of November. The 5th of November is going to be orientation. We're going to discuss about uh, uh, the things. And of course, after that, the uh, classes are going to start. And uh, so, of course, how do we develop logic? We use mathematics to develop logic, right? So it is the other way around, right? So the prime objective is to make child a problem solver to improve help, to improve him, help uh, develop logic. And for that, we use math, right? So of course, these are different pillars of mathematics, number system, arithmetic operation, mensuration, geometry, verbal and non-verbal and uh, other things, right? So of course, some of these things, for example, magical tricks might not be a part of, combinatorics might not be a part of the school curriculum. And of course, uh, even though we, we care about the school math, but again, the main objective is to give them the exposure of different kind of logic and puzzles using mathematics techniques, right? So, so, so of course, we, we uh, improve uh, it using mathematics. So these are the kind of the puzzles, question of the day, activities that we keep on doing, uh, origami, right? So, so, so these are the kind of things that we keep on doing on daily basis because anything which is remotely, even if it is remotely associated with problem solving, we, you know, get that thing into the class and of course discuss it with our students. Uh, the batch price is 699. The coupon code is ABMPRO. The link, link is there in the description box. If you're interested, you can join that particular batch. If we talk about level four, this is for the students of grade fifth and sixth. Of course, a lot of fourth graders also are uh, in this particular batch, those who are doing really good. But uh, typically, we recommend grade, students of grade 5th and 6th for this uh, particular batch. And uh, this batch is starting from 4th of November. And uh, today being the first class and the orientation as well. So it's a 40 uh, lecture course, Tuesday, Friday, Saturday, 6 to 7 p.m. And uh, of course, uh, this is the five, again, same thing, five minute test after every class. So this is a link which is given on the Vedantu app dashboard. So after every class, you have to attempt that particular test so that we know that where are you lacking. Right, so, so this is again being taken by Amit Modak sir. The start date is 4th of November. Daily teasers, brain teasers are the regular things. And of course, this is uh, how we develop logic using this mathematics, number theory, uh, arithmetic operations, basic geometry, statistics, algebra, reasoning, and mensuration. Right, so, so, so look at these activities. Right, so, so we're using tangrams to make students think. Uh, you know, so the, the, the developing uh, logic using tangrams, these activities are uh, proving that uh, two of the shapes are equal in area using uh, the paper folding and these techniques. So this not only helps them in mathematics, but also develop uh, confidence, these kind of activities, which uh, we, we keep on doing with our uh, students, right? So, so this is going to be a normal feature. Daily puzzles are normal features, and this is the main USP of this particular uh, course. And again, the price is 699. The coupon code is ABMPRO. The links are there in the description box. If you're interested, you can join these batches. And if there are any other questions, you can always put this in the telegram. I will, uh, or, or in, in the uh, description of uh, this uh, video, comments.
you can always put your comments in the uh, description and uh, not description comment section and uh, we'll definitely try to answer that take care god bless you bye everyone